Talladega, Alabama. You know it for NASCAR and the Super Speedway. But now there's another 500 at Talladega. 500 acres of the most advanced shooting sports park in the world thanks to the Civilian Marksmanship Program. Congress created the CMP in 1903 to promote civilian marksmanship and for the first time in the organization's 110-year history, the CMP has its own range. The sun is shining, the dignitaries are mingling, and the civilian marksmanship program is anxiously waiting to show off the new range. But this is not any range. It's part of a 500-acre shooting sports park with a $20 million price tag, and it shows. CMP does it right. I mean, come on, let's face it, this, this is a... It's the first time I've ever heard a rifle range referred to as a shooting park. But I kind of like that, too. It kind of kind of mellows things out, softens things out, doesn't it? Sounds like some place you'd love to go to have a picnic with the family. Wow, I tell you what, this place is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a complete park that's this fancy and that well thought out. You won't find another place like this in the United States and I think in, in most of the world. So, you know, I brag on the Talladega 500 all the time being the, 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 the fastest NASCAR track and uh, now I'll be able to brag on having one of the best, if not the most uh, world-class marksmanship facilities in the world here uh, in the same neck of the woods. The CMP Talladega Marksmanship Park action pistol ranges and the grand rifle range at 200 300 and 600 yards with the latest technology available electronic targets and that means instant results it's like drugs if you have first started with an electronic solution you never go back to the paper targets you need just more electronic solutions <laughs> These are the Kongsberg targets made in Norway. Acoustic sensors detect hits, which are calculated, then transmitted to the monitor. So no more people in the pits, no more changing paper. Now everybody, uh, all, all can be shooting. It's much more effective, much, much more. And it's easy for spectators to enjoy without binoculars and without even going outside. Scores delivered in real time on big screens inside the park's 13,000 square foot clubhouse. The CMP Talladega Marksmanship Park is the crowning achievement in the history of the CMP. What you see before you now is not only the result of 112 years of commitment to firearm safety and marksmanship, but a bold step forward creating marksmanship's most exciting environment designed to engage all participants, including our youth. And it was a young volunteer who initially sparked the question that led to the CMP's answer. This range is the culmination of a dream. In fact, it was one of our young shooters, an NCAA competitor working for us one summer who said to me, Mrs. Ligurski, where's the CMP's range? At the time, the only range available was Camp Perry to host the national matches. But now the CMP has a range as well. Well, you know, I don't remember her name. And she's quite undoubtedly all grown up by now, but I'd like to let her know. We are the CMP and we do have a range. And there's more. Trap fields and sporting clays. Delroy Collins traveled 740 miles from Texas to Alabama to shoot here. Great. I love it. I think I'll retire and come here. Luckily, Alabama's governor won't have to travel that far to take his first shots here. But uh, I do want to come back uh, when I don't have so many people following me around and, uh, and, and, and be able to, to shoot. $20 million has been invested here. At, uh, it's uh, state of the art, and uh, I'm just very honored to, to be part of this dedication today. I'm glad it's in Alabama. And it's a giant step into the future. To have our own home range 
means a lot to us. It's an accomplishment to the organization. It's an embodiment of what the organization does. Uh, it's fulfillment of the organization's mission. And it was the CMP's vision that doesn't end here. My goal is to have three more of these in the country. Um, we'll see if we get there. It's, uh, it's a goal of mine. I see this as only the start. At this time, please raise your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Just the start, and the CMP is already scouting new locations for its next range near Oklahoma City. Well, coming next, the first match at Talladega. M1 Garands on the anniversary of D-Day. We are preserving history. We're preserving history not only through remembering, but by shooting the firearms that they shot. The M1 Garand hardly needs an introduction, but as we introduce new generations to the shooting sports, we must also introduce them to the history. John Garand's design changed warfare. It was the first semi-auto service rifle, the rifle that won World War II. And decades later, it's still a favorite among veterans and enthusiasts. But there is one day each year when shooting the Garand is particularly appropriate. The beginning of the end. World War II was a, an era that, uh, you know, that will always be remembered. The Battle of Normandy. My father was on the second wave at Normandy. Operation Overlord. We can't forget those, uh, those days. They were very tough, not only for the United States, but for the world. Now, 71 years later to the day, M1 Garands are firing again, not on the beaches of Normandy, but at the CMP Talladega Marksmanship Park's inaugural match a grand match to commemorate the anniversary of D-Day. We're preserving history not only through remembering, but by shooting the firearms that they shot. It is an opportunity for Larry Stonecipher to honor his father's memory. He was one of those guys that went all the way across Europe, spent a little bit of time himself as a prisoner of war, and was home before he was 20 years old. Picked up a copy of his ribbons and stuff that he earned in World War II, so I was going to wear those today just to honor him also at the match. Larry is one of several hundred competitors at the M1 Garand match in Talladega, Alabama. We have uh, Vietnam veterans that are out here that are double amputee shooting. We have uh, veterans from the Iraqi and the Afghan wars that are shooting here today all shooting to celebrate an historic day for the U.S. and for the civilian marksmanship program on its new range. This range, the Talladega Marksmanship Park, you know, is a $20 million uh, project, uh, not counting all the additional startup costs that goes with this. But uh, the beauty of it is that it's paid for, and it's paid for by the, uh, by the public, uh, the public that have come out and that have purchased the government firearms of yesteryear. Right now, from what we can tell, the competitors love it. They're all stationary. They don't have to pull targets. Uh, they don't have to sweat as hard, uh, but the concentration level is still there. The line is ready. Your time will begin and you may commence firing. Each competitor takes a total of 30 shots for score at 200 yards, 10 prone, 10 offhand, and 10 rapid fire shots prone again. But it's the electronic target system that makes this range the most advanced in the world. Well, for an old guy like me, it's unreal. Everything being computerized and Nobody down there downrange pulling butts and your computer's keeping your score right in front of you. It's just something to do, really great. James Williams bears scars from Vietnam on his leg, old wounds that make it painful to stand, but he fights through it. Shooting an M1 match has always been on his bucket list. The history, the accuracy, and just, uh, it's a military weapon. A lot of people nowadays, the, young, the kids don't even know what you're talking about. So it's, uh, well, we are history, so. <laughs> but some from the younger generation are learning. 
and this was really one of our first opportunities to, to shoot a grand match together, to actually go out and do some training. Dan Arnold has brought Garands from his collection to pass on an appreciation of the M1 to his son. I've got several. <laughs> uh, a lot of the different different models, the D model, like a World War II model, a late war model. So not an extensive collection, but but uh, enough that my wife probably says that uh, I've got too many. I need an expandable gun safe, I think. I've never shot at one of these M1 matches. Uh, I've just watched him. But now I, now that I'm getting to do it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Passing on the history and tradition of marksmanship. How can you beat it? 71st anniversary of D-Day, grand match being here with my son, it's, it's awesome. Can't beat that. And there are winners. Douglas Armstrong took first overall. Larry Stonecipher, who you met, took second. And Timothy Adamson followed in third. You have made it this far in the video, and for that, we thank you. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel and we'll keep the uploads coming.